Well, we're about 24 hours away from our first Apple event of 2022, but I got something juicy for you today. You read that title right. We have some exclusive new info that I think you're gonna wanna see. Now, if you are looking forward to the Apple event tomorrow and you want it to remain a surprise, then this is not the video for you. But if you like a little sneak peek at peak performance, stick around. Because this, this is huge. So, leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. So let's get things straight. This is not a news video. This is an exclusive breaking leak and it's pretty big. But before I give you the meat, let me whet your appetite with a couple of little tasty morsels. How about that? So the first morsel that we are gonna be talking about today is the iPhone 13. Here's mine in pink. You probably can't even tell that it's pink because this color is a little bit boring. But don't worry because Apple has got you covered. If you too looked at the iPhone 13 lineup and you said, I wish there was one that was just a little bit more green, don't worry because you only have to wait 24 hours until you can get your hands on a green iPhone 13. According to my information, this is roughly what you should expect the color to look like on the iPhone 13 that will be updated tomorrow. Now, this is just like what Apple did last year at the spring loaded event. So no changes to the phone. This is just a new color. Last year it was purple. This year it's dark green. Hmm, Luke, that was, uh, that was pretty tasty. Could I, could I have another tasty morsel? I'm glad you asked because yes, you can. You may have heard rumors about upcoming refreshes to the iPad Air, namely an A15 chip, 5G support, and most likely center stage like all the other iPads. But you can also expect a new range of colors that takes after the iPad mini that came out last year, namely the purple color that a lot of people kind of didn't like on the iPad mini. Um, so that's a little awkward, but if you didn't like it on the iPad mini, maybe you'll like it on the iPad Air. So those are your appetizers. Did you enjoy them? You know, got a purple iPad, that's fun. Never had one of those before. Got a nice green iPhone. We have had several of those before, but now we have another one. But I know that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video for one reason, the Mac Studio. What's that? What the heck is a Mac Studio? You mean a Microsoft Studio? Yes, my friend, the Mac Studio. This is a brand that Apple has never done before. A new word, studio. How about that? You may have seen reports in recent days talking about this new mid-range desktop that Apple is working on. And well, we could talk about it all day if we wanted to, but I can do you one better. I can show it to you. So. Without any further ado, here is your first look at the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio is Apple's first ever entry to the mid-range desktop market. And this, according to my sources, is what it should look like. In terms of footprint, it is almost exactly the same size as the current M1 Mac Mini, but clearly there are some noticeable changes. For one, it's about four inches tall, and it also has a design that is more in keeping with Apple's latest. The curvature on the bottom of the device harkens back to the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. The rounded corner on the top of the device, think, iPad Pro and the silver sides are complemented by a white glass or polycarbonate top piece that harkens back to the original Mac Mini from 2005. It's beautiful, don't you think? It's sort of this wonderful retro modern throwback that has elements of the G4 Cube, the original Mac Mini, as well as Apple's modern offerings like the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro. Oh man, oh my God. Wow! 
Yep, that's real. That just happened. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. This is like blowing my mind. I for one think it looks pretty darn incredible. And what's arguably more amazing is that this Mac Studio is going to be revealed tomorrow on March 8th. You may have seen some reporting saying, ooh, Apple might release it this week or it might be coming out later. I am here to tell you unequivocally that you will see the Mac Studio tomorrow at the March 8th event. And more than just that, you'll also be able to see Apple's new external display. No, that wasn't a Pro Display XDR that you saw alongside the Mac Studio. That is a completely new product. The name I'm not 100% on, but Studio Display seems fairly likely given the Mac Studio. And given that Apple used to sell a very, very successful line of monitors called the Studio Display. So I think it's very likely that's what we're gonna see. Now, as far as the details on this, think a less expensive Pro Display XDR. It should be around 27 inches diagonally. It may also have slightly thicker bezels than the Pro Display XDR, although only just. And around the back of the device, there are no cooling holes like you would find on a Pro Display XDR. Now, the reasoning for the lack of cooling holes might have been revealed by Ming-Chi Kuo, who says that Apple is about to launch a new external display without mini LED. That might be a bit of a bummer if you were really, really excited for a mini LED Pro Display XDR replacement. I think that is gonna be a separate thing. This is going to be a, I won't say cheap, but much more affordable display. Don't worry, I don't think this is gonna be $5,000. As such, don't expect it to come with the Pro Stand. I think it's gonna be much more along the lines of the stand design that we find on the 24-inch iMac rather than the $1,000 Pro Stand. So this is basically taking that design philosophy of the Pro Display XDR and shrinking it down a little bit, bringing it down market to somewhere around $1,000. That would be my ballpark. That's not a leak, that's just my guess. So, uh, well, yeah, that just happened. That was your first look at the Mac Studio and new display. Don't believe me? Well, that's fine. We only have to wait 24 hours to find out because Apple's March 8th event is, it's not even around the corner. It's basically here already. So now you just get to go into it knowing what to expect. But granted, we don't know everything because the information that I have been given doesn't really tell us much about what's going to be powering this new Mac Studio. I think it's safe to say that it's going to be higher end than an M1 Mac Mini, but we don't really know where that could go. It could be M2, it could be M1 Pro and M1 Max have the same chips as the MacBook Pro, it could even introduce a higher end configuration, something like two M1 Maxes put together. We just don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see. But one thing I can tell you is that there will not be any laptops coming out tomorrow on March 8th. This is not a laptop event. So I know we've heard stuff about an M2 MacBook Pro, we've heard about the M2 MacBook Air, don't expect any portable devices, the Mac Studio is gonna be the star of the show. We're talking about a Mac Studio that is the same footprint as a Mac Mini with a little bit of extra height and endless potential for what could power it. A design that's probably going to last for years, maybe even a decade like the current Mac Mini design. And you got to see it a day early. I got to leak it a day early. It, it's weird. I really hope that I'm right, because obviously nothing is ever confirmed until Apple confirms it, but I'm very confident in this information. So, if you are as excited as I am, you're definitely gonna wanna get subscribed, leave a like, and tune back in tomorrow, where I'll be covering this event live here on the channel. Now, as I've done in previous events, I can't actually embed the stream in my stream for copyright reasons. Tim Cook will come and chop my head off or something, but I will be giving live commentary as well as going live before 
and after the event. So definitely make sure to stick around for that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be fact checking my own leak, which is a little nerve wracking, but I hope to see you guys there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you're most excited for at the March 8th event. I have a clue what it might be, but definitely let me know down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. It's been crazy.